lyrically, this is the record I'm most proud of. It says exactly what I want to say, exactly how I want to say it. I am in love with studying God's Word and finding a way to make that clear to other people. I really feel like it's what I was made to do. I love music, I love singing, but it doesn't satisfy me like teaching does. It helps me understand God better, which makes me a better parent and a better husband and a better friend, and I think that it gives me things to write about and to sing about. The studying and teaching the Beatitudes inspired me because of its simplicity. And Jesus is talking to this group of religious Jews on a mountainside 2,000 years ago, and it sounds like he should be talking to this religious guy here today. Like Jesus doesn't want religious people who believe in him and follow the rules. He wants followers. He wants people who are disciples. And so he just gives us a very simple plan. And he says, here's what it means to follow me. You have to begin with poverty of spirit, realizing there's nothing good in you. You have nothing to offer me or each other. And you need me. And then we mourn that. And then we move on to meekness and we surrender our sin and our frailty and our faults to the person of Christ. And that causes us to have the Spirit live in us, gives us a new desire, a new craving we've never had before for righteousness. The problem is we don't know what righteousness is. So he said, so he simplifies, here's what righteousness is. It's showing mercy. It's not passing by on the other side of the road when you see the wounded. It's stooping to dress the wounds. It's being pure of heart, not showing mercy to gain the approval of other religious people. It's not being tied to this world. It's being allegiant to God, focused on Him and His purposes and His will only. And then we move on and we make peace. We love our enemies. We pray for them. We feed them. We clothe them. We care about them. And this will make us a freak in this world, an alien. Jesus finishes His roadmap from belief to discipleship by promising us persecution. If you live like this, you will be hard. You will not be welcomed anywhere in this world. And that inspired me because it's dangerous. It's not come to Jesus, the bar is low, the road is wide, it's easy, it's happy. No, he says it starts hard, it ends hard. But in the middle is a craving and a life and a satisfaction that you were born for. It's what you were made for. The, the song White Flag is inspired by the third beatitude, which is blessed are the meek. The meek is an word that we use very often, and that's what meekness is. It's waving your white flag from your heart and saying, I give up. I can't do this. I'm through defending my territory. I'm through trying to hold the world in my hands. Your hands are the only ones that can do it. Take control.